is how to play the game! That is an epic fucking intro, dude. And I have to warn everyone, warning, what you may see right now is going to be absolutely disgusting. Sound good? Alright, that sounds good to me. The reason I was a little late today is because I got into a conversation with my viewers here in the stream chat about something that's very concerning to me. I'm very worried, and I hope that you guys are too. If you're not, you should be, at least from what I'm being told from Twitch and YouTube. Um, it's not normally when Twitch and YouTube will directly contact content creators on any kind of an issue. But apparently, guys, and I have to apologize in advance, alright? Apparently, um, there's gonna be something very big happening in politics in the U European Union soon that may hugely negatively affect everyone who live streams or makes videos for YouTube in the realm of gameplay. Alright? Um, that being said, I know that I don't talk politics on stream and I usually don't allow pol political talk, although it happens all the time anyway. Uh, but we have to talk about it today because it's very simple. This is something that will affect negatively every single content creator on the internet. Um, it's called Article 13. It's apparently a new law that's going to be passed in the European Union that basically states in a nutshell, if you don't have outright legal rights to broadcast something, you cannot broadcast it. <gasps> oh my god! That's like me, right? That's like me. So, for example, anyone who wants to do a Let's Play of a video game, unless you legally have a contract with the game developer and game publisher stating you have rights to broadcast that game, you can't. Now, up to this point, this has never been an issue because game publishers and developers love the free advertisement. They understand the current culture of the last 10 to 15 years of people making Let's Plays on YouTube. Uh, you know what I mean? But this potentially, what it's saying is in the European Union, all right, no more gameplay videos. No more gameplay streams, not even game reviews. None of that will be allowed unless you outright have legal permission from a game publisher to make said content. Now, I just want you guys to understand the ramifications of this, all right? First of all, you might say, oh, it's not a big deal. Everyone could just get permission from a game publisher. Uh, no. Right now, there is currently um, very few people who get that permission. Usually, the only people who do are the biggest guys out there, who, and the reason they have that permission is because they have legal contracts with these game companies to advertise their games. So unlike someone like me, who I just play any game on stream or, you know, upload a video to YouTube, uh, these guys are getting paid directly by the game publishers to play the games. So, you know, think PewDiePie making a full playthrough or a semi-playthrough of Shadow of Mordor years ago. Or was it Shadow of War? No, it was Shadow of War, right? Whatever the first Middle Earth game was, and... He had a direct contract with EA, excuse me, with Warner Brothers games, not EA, Warner Brothers games, to make that playthrough. He was getting paid to do it. He had legal permission to do it, okay? Um, most people don't have that. In fact, 99.999999% of people who stream and make Let's Plays on YouTube don't have legal permission to do it, but the game publishers don't care. They're like, this is free advertisement. This is great. We understand the current gaming culture. We like this. We don't want to prevent it. Well, if this European Union law passes, it doesn't matter what the game publishers say. It's now law. You just can't do it. So what Twitch and YouTube have come out and said is if this law passes in its current form, basically anyone who broadcasts their streams will not have them be able to be viewed in the European Union unless they can produce direct legal proof that they have rights to broadcast there for a certain game. They would have to do this for every different game they do. They would have to get legal permission and provide it to Twitch. Can you just imagine... The paperwork nightmare, the labor nightmare of every streamer trying to prove to Twitch and or to YouTube they have rights to create content for a game. In reality, it's just not going to happen. And what's ended up happening is both Twitch and YouTube have said initially all we're going to do is flip a switch. And if you're in the European Union, you will not be able to watch any gameplay streams or any gameplay videos on YouTube or Twitch, period. Until this whole situation is sorted out if we have to get a new kind of work uh, situation. Um... Do you want to play the fucking game? Where, you know, we have to hire new staff or we have to have a new process in place where staff will process these claims or whatever. I'll be honest for all of you. Um, it's just not, for, for when it comes to my content, all right, it's just not going to happen. There's no way that I have any clout. I'm small potatoes, all right? I'm small potatoes. To contact. For example, Resident Evil 2, the remake, comes out this coming Friday. 
uh, in one week from today. There's no way that I have the, the, the clout or any kind of capacity to contact Capcom and say, Hey guys, you know, I really love your stuff, and I'm playing Resident Evil 2. Can you give me legal permission to do it so that I can broadcast in the European Union? Chances are it would take them weeks to months to even get back to me if they ever do. They don't care about me, right? If anything, they're going to respond to the biggest guys. You're going to have the absolute ginormous streamers who already get all the views are going to be bringing in even more views because they'll probably be the ones that Capcom responds to and says, oh, okay, here, I'll give you legal permission since you get ridiculous amounts of views everywhere you put out content. But when it comes to the normal people, like you and me, we're basically fucked. We'll never get it. <laughs> <laughs> and basically, essentially, what this is going to do is completely shut down, uh, you know, business when it comes to Twitch and YouTube in gaming realms, you know, any kind of the realm of gaming, for the European Union. Now, already I've heard some things like, oh, well, it's okay, if you're in the European Union, you can just get a VPN to, to, and, and view that content through a VPN that makes it look like you're from another country where this, this Article 13 won't legally come into effect. I mean, that's very true, but number one, not every VPN is free. Number two, very few people actually know how to effectively use a VPN. The other thing a lot of people aren't realizing um, is that a lot of people like me uh, make their livelihood out of having a worldwide viewer base. I know for a fact, many of you right now watching my stream and many of you listening to this pre-stream on YouTube probably are in the European Union. And many of you may come in and do things like uh, cheer or sub during a live stream, right? Well, guess what? You won't be able to do that anymore. You won't even be able to watch my live stream under your own account. If you use a VPN, maybe you'll be able to watch, but you won't be able to be under any kind of an account where you pay through European Union means. You see what I mean? If you live in one of these countries in the European Union, you probably won't be able to cheer or sub ever again. You probably won't be able to, to, to do stuff like that on YouTube either. I know people who stream on YouTube. You probably won't be able to do those those means anymore. Um, It's all going to get shut down. I need your help. I need your help. I really, 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 really need your support right now, folks. I'm going to need your guys' help. I really am. I'm going to need your support. I need it. I need th that money. I really do. I need that money to pay my bills. Okay. So, that being said, this is horrible. I mean, someone like me, who I, you know, as you guys know, I've been having lots of financial challenges recently. I have a huge financial challenge coming up in April to try to pay my taxes. Now imagine, on top of all this stuff going on, I lose, I don't know, one-fifth of my viewer base who are in the European Union because they can't watch my stuff anymore. So there's no more viewership, no more contributions from there at all. Um, I don't know, man. I give up. I say I can't beat it. I just fucking give up. I can't let this beat me, but I don't know how to beat it. I don't know how to beat it myself. That's the problem. You know, every other time I've had a backup plan or if it, no, no, no backup plan, just toughing through it somehow worked. I don't know what to do this time. I don't know what to say. Like, I'm speechless. And, you know, I, they've been talking about this for months. And I talked about it in December. I'm bringing it up again because, again, this morning I got an email from Twitch about it. And for me... Like, I don't really understand how the European Union politics work at all. In the United States, here's how it works. We have elected officials, and they know that they're elected, and they know that every few years they have to be re-voted in if they want to stay in power. So, for example, I'd say about five, six years ago, we had the big scare. Actually, it was like seven, eight years ago at this point. Oh, SOPA and PIPA. And these were going to be very restrictive laws in regards to the internet that were going to shut down things like YouTube. So, we went up in arms against SOPA and PIPA, and we made videos about it, and we rallied against it in the United States. Finally... The viral movement reached our lawmakers, and all the lawmakers who were in favor of these very, very censor censorship-centric laws said, Oh shit, we're probably not going to get voted in again next term if we pass these laws because it seems like the common people of America don't want them. And they completely dropped the whole thing, and it never came back. So that's how it works in our country. You're going to pass something we don't want. We'll tell you, hey, go right ahead, and if you do, you're not going to have a job next term. And then they don't do it. They'll just drop it. Okay? I have no idea. Okay? Um... I have absolutely no idea how this is going to happen in the European Union. I don't know if you guys and gals who live there can contact your lawmakers and say, hey, please stop this law. It doesn't make sense. It's going to ruin everything. You know, I have no idea how it works. So for me, I just kind of shrug and say, this really sucks. I hope this doesn't happen. Because I, as you guys know, I love what I do for a living. I don't want to ever have to change what I do for a living. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah. Phil's an e-beggar. Phil's just a, one of the worst e-beggars. Disgusting beggar. 
I just want to say thanks a lot to everyone. Um, I hope to entertain you in the future. Please go to my partner channel, The King of Hate HD, and click on the ads that show up on the videos there because hopefully, you know, fingers crossed, that Ashley starts giving me some, some money back for what I'm doing. I mean, it's not cheap to do what I'm doing. I bought a lot of games, a lot of equipment, and now I have my own condo, which is basically my studio, to do whatever the hell I want. So, you know, anything that you can give back is much appreciated. I also do have the PayPal donation on the left-hand side of my Dark Side Phil channel. It explains how to go to PayPal and what, uh, you know, email address to send a donation to, darksidephil at hotmail.com. Uh, I've gotten many, many donations, and as I said before, if you send me a donation of, you know, 10, 15, 20 dollars or more, I'll mention your name in a video because I do appreciate that. So, thanks a lot. Uh, oh, there's my token burp for you to end this, uh, little video. Phil's always been a beggar. And, like, uh, it's within my power. And right now, I'm in a situation where things, if we can keep them going and that we get a big surge of support by April, I can get through this tax situation, maybe I can even refinance my home by the end of this year, I'll get to a good position where finally, I'll be able to be stable. And the streams have been going great and everything, we keep the positivity up. That's what I've been focusing on. Now imagine if all of a sudden, out of nowhere, the rug gets pulled out from under me because no one in the European Union can watch my stuff and that's the end of it all. Like... That's it. I'll be very honest with you guys. If I get a big dip in income out of nowhere, it's over. Celebratory toast! Everyone, if you have a drink, raise your glass with me or your can or your chalice or your flute, whatever it is that you may drink from. Let's have a celebratory toast to being done with that fucking shit. Salud. Like, what I'm going to have to do, realistically, I'm going to have to sell this house. I'm going to have to try to see if, even just by selling this house, is that enough money to pay the responsibilities that I have financially? Because how big of a dip of income am I going to take if the European Union viewers can't see me anymore? Um, you know, it just becomes a life-crippling thing. And it's all because of a dumb law that makes no sense. All right. Um, I don't know, man. I just, you see, I'm nervous. I'm incredibly nervous about this whole situation. But the thing is, there's nothing I can do about it, right? Um, there's nothing I can do at all. I have no control over it. So it's really up to those of you who watch my stuff and live in the European Union to figure out how you contact your lawmakers and say, don't do this, um, or change it. So at least it's not going to affect these things so badly. You know what I mean? Um, I just don't know anymore. I'm just like, you know, I'm very nervous, and, you know, it sucks. It sucks to me that I get these, these, these almost threatening, if not just, like, doomsday-like emails from Twitch and YouTube saying, you know, it's gonna happen, and, you know, we've been trying to tell you guys for, like, the greater part of a year this is coming, you know, um, <laughs> anyway, obviously I don't mean to be all doom and gloom and everything on the pre-stream here, but it seems pretty important if, if Twitch is directing, is directing me to tell my viewers about this situation, it must obviously be important, and so I apologize by derailing my stream talking about it. I don't know if we'll talk about it more, as you guys know. Um, today's Minecraft stream is going to be very interactive. We're going to be talking a lot during today's Minecraft stream. So, maybe this will be a topic of discussion today. I don't know, maybe many of you will have more information about this than I do. But, basically, I would, I would, I would hope, you know, these horrible things don't happen. I'm so tired of it, you know. <sighs> it's very, 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 you know, disheartening. And worrisome. Um, it's Tevin's fault. So let's see. Let's let's try to be positive. Let's try to believe um that things will not be as bad as we're being told. And let's hope that you guys can do something who live in the European Union to stop it. Okay, that's all I really can say at this point. I don't really know much else about how any of this works. So let's see. Outside of all that, you may have noticed a giant subs dip. I told all of you this was going to happen. If you remember, a month ago, Emerald Seven. Came in here and gifted about, no lie, probably about twelve to 1,300 subscriptions to everyone. Uh, those are now expiring. In fact, a ginormous number of like 600 of those or more expired over my day off. And I believe it's either today or tomorrow that the other half are due to expire. So we're going to dip down to between 400 500 subs any minute now. <laughs> Skills man did a 50-bit cheers. You should probably try something else if Article 13 gets passed and your income will decrease, as you say. Yeah, I don't know what to do. Uh, McDonald's. I mean, being, being realistic and honest here... Getting another job will not work. It means I have less time to dedicate to streaming, which full-time streaming is my job and pays me more than any job I'm going to get out here in Washington State. Just being honest. Any job, literally any job I could get right now, I make more streaming than that. Um, I have no clue what to do besides, like I said, drastic measures like selling the house and maybe trying to make a case for bankruptcy and say I have such a, a dramatic decrease in income, there's no way I can pay my debts anymore. I don't know what to do. I am that nervous about Article 13 from what everyone's been telling me. Um, if it has that much of a negative impact, I might be completely shocked whining and complaining <laughs> I 
<laughs> okay. All right, guys. I think that's enough for me. You don't want to see me, you know, crying like a fucking baby here. Oh. Uh, <laughs> so now I do my celebratory tips. Dab. There you go. Double celebratory dab. My headphones fall off. There you go. Okay. Very nice. Double celebratory dab with headphones flying off. What pasta do you prefer? I prefer a penne. Oh! Easy to eat. Oh! Phil's a faggot. Phil's fat. Phil's a loser. Phil's a beggar. Phil's a racist. Phil's a scammer. DSP is a pedophile. DSP is a thief. DSP is a greedy fuck. This guy's a bitch. I have a micro penis. <laughs> Alright, I'm not dead, but I swear to God, I wish I fucking was.